Mash, you'd be pleased with that. A good win. What are your thoughts? No, it was really good. It was, um, I want to say, a good professional performance from us. Um, you know, they we knew that they caused problems. We knew that we'd have a lot of the ball. Uh, but it was one of them games where you can get so comfortable on the ball all the time and then, boom, something happens and they score. So we were really trying to nail in, you know, not to get too complacent, not to you know, do anything too extravagant. Try, just do little things, other simple things right. And, mm. Yeah, and then we'll, we should be there or thereabouts in the game. Is it almost a game where if they sit too deep or give you too much time, it can actually slow you guys down? So was that a big factor that you didn't want to happen? Yeah, I think I think we're, we're quite good at moving the ball anyway, mm. um, especially when they drop that deep. It's when they've got that mid block and you've got to really move it quickly to break it down and push them back. But we, we seem to do it all right today. Um, I think the connections are uh, getting stronger, uh, you know, especially me, Brody and, and Leaf on the on the left side. So with birds behind us so yeah I think we're, we're getting better it's a diff again it's a different game today compared to the last three or four games I've been involved every game has been different mm. um, but we uh, there's always room for improvement because I think we could, should have had a, a few more goals or a little bit more control especially in the first half but second half we looked I thought we looked good Just jumping back to the, the start of the game were you pleased overall because it wasn't like the, the goal didn't come from just one chance you, you had been pressing hadn't you? Yeah I think the goal a goal seems simple, yeah. you know what I mean? A few break, play out from the back, out wide, cross goal. Um, and sometimes they're the, they're the best goals, just just do that. Um, but yeah, no, uh, we had to work hard on that. I think speaking to some of their players, they, they were tired. We were just wearing them down and um, it's enjoyable to play in. I'll, I'll tell you that, yeah. I really enjoyed playing in that today. Uh, but also, if we can just keep our discipline, then I think it'll, it'll come eventually. And it did. It's always emphasised what the striker does in this side, as well as or you know instead of scoring goals. But Hurst, he's obviously found his finishing touch and scoring touch from that beauty at Bolton. I mean, is that the type of goal, a quality like that, that can really set you on your on your way? Yeah, I think a goal. As I said, it was so simple, but mm. every you know the ball had to be right, the pass to Wes had to be right, the timing of Hurst's run. I think they've got a good relationship from the last two games. You can see that. So. Um, a lot of small factors that if you get that right then some goals can seem really simple and, and they did that and he really deserved that goal and it just made things a little bit more easier mm. just we can you know, all right calm it down a little bit they've suddenly got to press more or come out a little bit and then if teams we've seen the teams come here and try to press or try to play against us then we can hurt them so yeah um yeah it was it was perfect timing for a goal and it was um I think a lot of hard work before that and eventually we wore down the squad. Thoughts at half time? Uh, it, it was a weird one because we're at 1 0, but it, I think we're so comfortable in the game, it's almost reminding ourselves all right, just be cautious that they're only a goal away from being back in it, and then with the momentum, they, could, they can cause some trouble, especially on set pieces. So uh, it was just sort of keeping our discipline, not getting too high, and. and just probably tinker with the formation a little bit and tactically get things better. And yeah, and we, we would, we, well, I thought we were really dominant. Second goal, your first goal for the club. How did that, how good did that feel? And also talk us through it. <laughs> it was really good. I've, I've spent years playing sort of that holding role. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of never get in the box. And uh, I think, to be fair, I think the manager signed me here for that role and, and just through accident. I've ended up being a little bit more attacking and I, I can do it. I, I really enjoy doing it yeah. more than probably sitting. So I, I think adding goals or just being there in the box is more enjoyable. So I just wanted to, I was so happy. You know, I don't get many goals and I was really happy with that. And um, what was your approach for the final, maybe say half an hour or so? Was it about uh, managing the game or did you really want that third goal to, to completely kill it off? Yeah, it's hard. I think. Again, you can get carried away. Mm. You know, we're so dominant. Should we keep going for it? I think, especially in my position, I've got to be a bit more disciplined. And they start chucking people forward. And to be fair, they started to play like towards the end, and it, it caused us a few problems. But I feel like that's something we haven't really been tested a lot when you know teams actually come and play, and and we're we've got a mid block, or we're defending our box, and and there's definitely room for improvement there. So I think having that little end to the game where you know we, we've won the game but we've just got to see it out and be disciplined and do little things and yeah. just reassure that we're 
we're going to keep a clean sheet is I think it's a good stepping stone for us. Mm. Came off late today, but back to back, well, essentially back to back 90 minutes. How are you feeling physically? Yeah, I'm all right. I think the better than the last 90 minutes um, because that was a tough away win. I had to graft and mm. you're just there involved in that game. It was just a very physical game. Um, today was, I probably did more more running today just because we had so much of the ball. But, yeah. um, I feel good. I'm getting stronger every game. Um, probably what's helping is the relationships on the pitch and the positioning and the, and the coach is helping me with where I should be and stuff. And so, yeah, yeah I feel fitter. I just got to keep going and, and keep getting stronger. Last few weeks, how much have you enjoyed your football? Yeah, no, I've really enjoyed it. It's, it's um, I've just had to be patient to get a chance. Um, and I was happy, you know, being around the place and just helping the team. And, and unfortunately, that's the way football works. And I've got a chance. And <clears throat> yeah, I just, we're doing well. I just need to keep doing my job. And then hopefully everyone does their job individually. And whoever comes in, if I play, I don't play. I just keep doing what I'm doing. Just want to finish with a question about Jason Checked early. You met him as one of the January signings. Yeah. He popped in before the game today. What's that been like? Well, it was the first time I met him properly, uh, and we, you know, I was one of the new people that got to speak to him yeah. in, in a room and stuff like that, and he shared his story. But it's, it's been, to be fair, it's been quite powerful. Um, you know, what he's gone through, uh, what he, how he lives his life. I think outside of football. Yes, it's to inspire us on the pitch, but I think um, a lot of it is just how you are as a person, as, as how you live your life and, and what's important. You know, you've got family and um, and then how you take that on the pitch is up to you. But I think first and foremost, it's, it, his message is, is really strong in life in general. And then I think it was nice for him to experience today and, and see us win.